Okay, this is chapter four, exercise one, C clip. So once again, there's always a couple ways to do it, but the big two ways that pop out to me are you could draw like a giant rectangle and then you can cut these pieces out uh, or you can just take a line tool and start somewhere and just start drawing your lines and then come back in and dimension after the fact. So I think that's the approach that I'm going to take. So we see that we have some dimensions with three decimals. So when we start our new part drawing, we're going to need to come down here, make sure we're in IPS, hit edit document units, and then we can go out to three decimals right here on our length. All right, so we can turn the drawing on. There we go. So we can come to sketch. We'll do this on the uh, top plane looking down and we can start our line drawing. So we're going to click and start at the origin. We're going to go up, come over, and we're just going to continue this over. So we're going to talk about sketch relations on the way. So you see this uh, yellow uh, and perpendicular box that shows up at the end of my pointer as I'm drawing. So if that shows up and you click, it's going to make an automatic sketch relation there. So if you click with that perpendicular one showing up, it means that this line right here is always going to be perpendicular to this line. So you can see this little green box right there that showed up. So uh, with this drawing specifically, with all the angles that are uh, there and then um, some of the lines not perfectly lining up, we're going to want to avoid sketch relation. So we'll take that line off and then we'll go back to drawing. Yep, so like right here, we are fine with the yellow one because it says it's vertical, but that white line going left to right means that it would be horizontal with this dot right there, which is not what we want. So when we click our points, we just want to make sure that we don't have any unintended automatic relations. So like right here, I'm going to pull it down just a little bit. And you could get away with most of these because um, almost all of the angles uh, are 45, but um, you can mess up your drawings uh, on accident by having sketch relations that you did not intend to put there. All right, so now we can go and start dimensioning. So I like to start with some of the larger ones first. So we see we have 1.25 inches on top. Just go on ahead and get that one done. And then we can get this one over here that says it's also 1.25 inches tall. And then we can get our spacing right here that says it's 0 0.5. Now this should give us like a rough shape of it. And if you see right here how these lines got kind of off uh, while we were doing those big dimensions, it doesn't really matter as long as you can visually see the shaping in your head. But if it helps you to dimension them, you can go on ahead and kind of move some of these lines around to get it to look kind of like the shape that we were doing. So we'll pull this one up a little and yeah, that looks pretty good. Can shorten that one up, bring this one up. All right, so now just pick a point and you can start dimensioning from there. So we'll start uh, up here on this top left area. So shortcut instead of having to come over and click on smart dimension every time you can press the S key and it'll pop up with your uh, shortcuts and you can right click here and hit customize and you can update any of these as 
as you wish. So you can drag and drop them. You can move them around. You can search for stuff. And then you can bring it over. So I have my shortcut set up with Smart Dimension right there. So we see that it's 0 0.25 inches from right here down. And then it's also 0 0.25 inches over. We can get this depth right here to 0 0.2. This angle here is 45. I've already got that distance. This one is good. I can set this one as a 45. And from this point to this vertical line is 0 0.125. So this is what I was saying, if, if your drawing kind of starts to get shifted like it was right there, you can just grab a line and you can pull the drawing in whatever direction you need to make it look similar to what it was. The already dimensioned parts will still stay the same. So we can go back to dimension. We've got 0 0.3 right here. And once again, 0 0.125 and 45. Got 0 0.2 width right here. This distance is 0 0.5. And like I was saying, we can pull this over some so we can see the drawing better. Go back to dimension, 45. Zero point three seven five. Okay, so now you can see that the drawing is almost completely dimensioned. Um, the only problem that you're going to have are possibly these two blue lines right here. So if you look, you can see that a blue line means that the sketch is not fully defined. So if you can't really figure out why your sketch is not defined, you can click and hold on the blue line and you can move it and then that will help you figure out why your sketch is not defined. So the problem with right here is that we don't know the distance between here and this line. So the original drawing doesn't explicitly show this. However, um, you can look at the drawing right here and see that these lines are uh, collinear with each other. So it means they're on the same line. So right here and right here. So we need to add a sketch relation to these to make them collinear. So when you were doing your line drawing, if you were um, doing this on the bottom part right here, and you clicked here, and then you clicked up to draw it, and then you went over flat, and then you came back down, you can see how these, this line and this line are automatically collinear. So if that didn't happen in the drawing because we were trying to avoid that initially, you can click on that line, hold control, click on that line, and then come over here to your left and click collinear. And then that's going to make them automatically lie on the same line. 
and then the same thing with this one and this one, make them collinear. And then now everything is black and fully defined. So now we can go to features, extrude, and then it says it's 0 0.25 thick. And then this is the final shape. And then I believe it says change it to tungsten. So there we go, C-clip.